Okay, so we have finally got the air compressor generator that we bought from eBay for £130. The primer is dried up, so let's unbox it now. This is what £130 gets you. Alright, oil gun, tire inflator, spray gun, air gun. How? This weighs 26 kgs, so be careful with your back. Oh my god, my back is broken. It's got two gauges here, the compressor's at the bottom, and it is electric. Let's not waste any time, let's put it all together and let's paint the Skoda. Okay, so so far with FT paints, we have degreased the primer part of the body part. We've degreased that twice. And Fabio recommended that you use the tackle wipes over it just before we're about to spray the car. It's very, very sticky. It feels like it's just honey in it. It's gonna stick to the paint. But as I'm doing it, it actually, it's actually not that sticky. So I'm gonna turn it over now to see if it has collected any residue. Look at that. Big shout out to Fabio for recommending that. Screwdriver has been decreased and cleaned. So basically, big shout out to FT Paints again where we bought it from. Um, Fabio explained to us, really appreciate all his help. It's looking pretty glittery. 50 Magic Black, which is a Skoda, and 50 Thinner. So 50-50 makes one. Because the car had been sanded with too much pressure, it left marks on the boot lid. It became very difficult to remove the indents that the sander had made. Even though the boot lid felt very smooth, the marks from pressing too hard with the sander were still very apparent. We knew that as soon as the clear coat went on, that the marks would be most obvious at this point. Right, so this is now, after doing the prep properly, taking days of just literally wet sanding properly, and now this is the first primer. Uh, Promatic, which we brought from FT Paint, and I gotta admit the quality is amazing. That's what it's looking now. You can see it's so smooth and clear. So anyway, that's the most important bit, and there you have it.
We also found it very difficult to get a high shine on the lacquer and this is something that we have found challenging with this last spray job. The products used were faultless so this is purely down to lack of experience and knowledge so if there is anyone that has any tips please comment down below.